Mark, automation is a theme that we always talk about here at Matsura uh, and a subject that you're, you're very good at. Um, two machines that we've got behind you here are really of that ilk as well, aren't they? Can you explain what they are? Yes, well, the, both the MS60 and the MD60 are brand new machines to the, to the UK market. And really, it sort of extends itself from the twin parallel spindle that Murata have sold for you know, 20, 30 years. Um, and it's really for us to offer to the UK market, to customers that want a billet loading, self-loading, CNC, twin axis or two axis um, trucker, this machine is, 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 is a great option. So what's, I mean, let's take an alternative then. You have a, a two axis lathe and you installed a robot uh, next to it. What's the advantage other than what I can see here of size? I mean, that's a big one, which is, which is obvious to see, but what's the, what's the technical advantage to it? What's the well, you're right, the footprint is, is, is the main thing really. Yeah, because obviously the stocker and everything sits in the same footprint. Um, but you know, if you were to add a robot for billet loading onto your existing CNC lathe, you know, the cycle time for loading through the front door of a machine is around about 45 seconds. But this, this range of machines from Murata will load in five seconds. Gee whiz. So that's a, that's a massive reduction in that load and unload time. It so is, yes. You only then have to start thinking about the volumes and you multiply that by the volumes. You've got massive potential yes. savings there. Yes, so we have a stocker which can uh, stock a, a stack of uh, parts which is 140 uh, diameter um, with a maximum height of 400 diameter, uh, 400 high. Um, but obviously, you know, depending on the size of your billet, you could get an awful lot of uh, billets into the stocker, which gives you the hours that you need to run unmanned. Now, um, as, as Matsura do with a lot of their machines, these have just turned up here. They're now available from stock. Yep. So what we can actually see is what comes with it as well, which <laughs> we've got the Swarf conveyor and the stocker as well. Yes. So the stocker, the Swarf conveyor, and obviously the machine is a very, very small, small, tidy uh, package, which um, allows you to you know, not take up too much of your footprint, but give you that automation that you need. What's the cost of one of these, Mark? Uh, well, the, uh, the MS60 uh, starts from £150,000, which is obviously without driven tools. If you then go to the MD60 with driven tools, then that's around about £180,000. So they're a single spindle unit, uh, yep. each one. What about if you wanted to turn that part over as well to do the two ops? Is that possible? Yep, so it's possible to have a turnover station uh, in the machine. Obviously, your work holding needs to be a compromise for that. Uh, but also, if you wanted to add both of these machines together, then you could do as well and link the robots. At Muratech as a brand, you've been supplying them for some time. If you had a few words to say about uh, what they're good at, what would they be? Well, <laughs> we have some very, very um, long-standing customers, I should say, with, uh, with Muratas. Um, you know, we've been uh, servicing uh, Muratas now for probably 10 to 14 years, um, and they just, they're just a very, very reliable machine. They're a good good strong stable machine very very accurate you know some of the machines that they um, have in the in, in the range give you five microns roundness guaranteed so you know they're a they're, they're a good machine for for very high precision turn parts and now by the sounds of it pretty competitively priced as well well they are I mean to be fair you know even the parallel spindle machines are competitively priced um, obviously we do the the MT series which is an inline twin spindle twin turret machine but if you've got a uh, you know, uh, a volume component which uh, requires billet loading, then, you know, they, they can't be beaten in their cycle time because of the fact they can load and unload so quickly.